Hey everyone, John Hartley, and I'm here with yesterday's mail. I was going to wait uh, till I got a couple of packages in before I opened just one, but um, and this came in yesterday, and it's uh, Friday night at uh, quarter after ten, and um, I just got the urge to open this package not that it's anything tremendously special but I just decided I wanted to open it so um, these are more foreign coins and uh, for those of you who are um, getting tired of the foreign coins um, cut my countertop I'm right there with you I'm we're almost through with this um, foreign coins deal. This is the last of the coins countries that start with the letter T. I've got one more set um, of coins coming. The only set I need for the letter U and um, there are no X's, got all the Y's, got all the Z's. And then I have one coin on that I'm trying to win on an auction that's, um, it's sort of a, a symbolic ending. And I don't want to spoil it in case I don't get it because uh, a lot of people are bidding on it and it's pushing my max bid to to the edge and but that's because it's a really good example of the coin but it um when it gets if i get it if i don't get this one i'll probably try to get another one i'll uh you'll understand it's a, a proper ending this was a uh, i've bought coins from this uh lady before um, and I had several choices of what to buy from Turkmenistan um, all new coins but I had several I could buy just coins that were separate I could buy a couple of different uh, packages like this and uh, that's where I guess Turkmenistan is But this one is not only uh, unique, at least unique to me, packaging. Um, she included a uh, banknote. And I really don't collect banknotes. I do have a good number of them. Some of them from when I was in the Navy that you come back off of Liberty and you have a few dollars left or a few lira left or whatever it is and um, it's not it's, it's it's a better souvenir to have than going back to the ship's purser and uh, cashing it back into uh, to American dollars that's when when a ship in the Navy pulls into a foreign port um, someone from the government comes on board ship and uh, exchanges money for us and then we the sailors go to him after that's done and we you know, hand him a hundred dollar bill or whatever or just take it out of our bank account when you're out at sea you have a, you can you can select um, they put up a roster uh, I don't know why I'm talking about this. It just came to my head. I hadn't thought about it in years. They put a roster up in the uh, in the mess. The mess is uh, chow hall. And, it's, and they ask you how much money you want to get paid on payday. Because you're out at sea. You don't need that much money. Unless you're going to a liberty port or something. The only thing you need when you're out at sea is uh, soap and cigarettes. 
the Navy supplies everything else, coffee, food, everything. And uh, so you just go up there and, and uh, if you're going to be out at sea for uh, the next two weeks, we got paid every, well, we got paid on the 15th and the 30th, as I remember. Um, just write down 20 cash and they say and they keep the rest of it and when you get back to home port what you have not cashed out they'll uh, they write a check out for you when you get back to I was based out of Charleston South Carolina so um, so sometimes when you got back off of Liberty and you had just a you know, a few bills from whatever port you were in um, you saved them instead of uh, instead of cashing them back in, but that's besides the point. Turkmenistan is uh, another um, ex-Soviet state that uh, has no old coinage. So to make my project complete, I just bought a set. This is. This is something a long time ago I swore I would never do. When I was very new, very, very new to little to, to coin collecting, Littleton Coin Company had this thing where they would send you some coins on approval. And um, they wouldn't tell you what you were getting. They just send you sent you a you know, you you were you would either get coins worth Ten dollars amount of coins, or fifteen amount, or twenty amount. I don't know. You know, wasn't much back then because I didn't make much. And they sent you junk. I mean, absolute junk. The stuff nobody wants to collect because it's just ugly and old is what Littleton sent you. And you, and, you know, the deal was if you didn't like it, just send it back. Of course, you had to pay postage to send it back. Littleton Coin Company is a ripoff, in my opinion. And if you're with Littleton Coin Company and you're watching this video, I'll say it again. It's a ripoff. But uh, this, I didn't see that. I, well, it's, I would have bought it anyway because they're sealed. They're uncirculated. Maxwell just heard something and got up and growled. What did you see, Max? Is there a raccoon out there? Is there a raccoon out there? You get him, buddy. Get him. Get him, buddy. Maxwell hears noises and goes off to protect me. Looks out the breakfast room window and protects his buddy, John. Go oh, boy. Go oh, boy, Maxwell. Well, um, kind of right now I'm thinking I shouldn't open this because <laughs> yeah, you, know, you got something sitting on the counter and it's, uh, you know, like, oh, I don't want to wait three days to order it or to uh, see what's in there. And now, you know, it is what it is. So I've got uh, one set of coins coming in that's the last of the uh, foreign coins and then I got one um, Washington quarter coming in, very, uh, very early Washington quarter coming in that I got on a uh, online auction, not an eBay, a place called ProxyBid. Uh, that, that'll be here at the first of the week. And I got that uh, one coin that I'm trying to win on an eBay auction. And um, hopefully I'll get that. And it'll be in the end of next week. And then we'll be through with the foreign coins and we can get back to silver and some more interesting stuff. So until then, I'm 1042.